Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. I'm going to show you something now which is available from many car part shops and also online locksmith shops and all sorts of shops over the internet. Basically what you have here is a car opening set and I thought it was interesting. Uh, we got our hands on one. It was actually from a customer. Um, he tried to use this and um, ended up calling a locksmith and then he uh, said well do you want this and we said okay fine pay you for it there you go and I wanted to show you this because this is what people buy in the hope that they can open up cars and in the magical hope that they can open up all sorts of cars and it's quite interesting and I'm going to take you through and show you what's in the kit okay we don't actually sell these so I'm just giving it to you as a reference um, to show you what's included although it looks very good I'll take you through I'll take you through that's the best way of doing it okay so first out of the bag now this will set you back anywhere from uh, 40 to 140 bucks depending on where you buy it depending on your currency and things like that you get an air wedge that's what's called in the trade an air wedge um, by all rights it is an air wedge uh, the corners are very sharp they'll probably rip the car rubber when you're trying to insert it but it most likely will do the job if you're talented you could use it okay so there's your air wedge there let's give that a test okay that passes I'll give that a pass air wedge okay now let's look at the second out of the bag Slim Jim pretty mean looking Slim Jim it's got a slight kink in it the end's got some um, slightly different um, notches compared to HPC and a few others but yeah that is a Slim Jim quite thin stainless steel flexible looks like alright quality second Slim Jim now this one here is what most normal Slim Jims look like uh, yeah I mean it's it's doable doable if you know what you're doing this one's already yeah, as you can see how how distorted this is that's from one one use by an amateur who bought this kit and um, doesn't know how to open cars mainly because um, you know they haven't been skilled and trained like locksmiths have so <clears throat> where I'm going with this is that um, you know calling a locksmith yeah it does cost you money but um, it is a better alternative 99% of the time now this tool right here I can see it's got some big bends in here this is not the way it comes new so obviously the person who had this kit here has actually tried to use it and as you can see by the metal they've really applied some sort of force down there and um, obviously had no luck so when, when you see bends like this on a piece of metal like this, it shows that um, they've applied great force. Now if they didn't have any luck and they're applying that type of force, I wonder what they're doing to the wiring harnesses or airbags or anything else that's inside their car doors, you know, the speakers and things like that. Uh, this piece of string is coming off here. This is just a, a heavier gauge uh, fishing string. So I'm going to put that there. On this side here, this is the business end, it has like a, a, a hook there. So yeah, you could grab a rod, and yeah, you could make it move from that. But, I've been doing this uh, for at least 20 years, and I'm, I'm telling you, like if I, if I had to make this work, yeah, I could. But it's not my preferred choice of tools, and they're not made to the quality that I would require. Now this tool here is a bit larger than normal. It goes down the window, back up the window, into the car, and then activates the button. Not the best way of doing it, not the way we do it in Australia. Um, to be quite honest, I've never seen anybody ever use one of these in my life. But, there you go, there's that tool there. We have our traditional packing tape. Okay, have a look at the damage on this packing tape. This is brand new. Have a look at this damage on this packing tape. It's thin nowhere near the quality of the big easy packing tape that um, comes in their kit but packing tape all the same and uh, for any professional locksmith you're looking at it thinking okay where, where's it going to grip the button there is no grip section on this it's just a piece of plastic air wedges there's your wedge there and let me show you what a professional wedge looks like just so you can uh, gauge it up there we are there that's this one this one you know and 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 sometimes size does matter you know sometimes size really does matter if you're trying to uh, get this into a window let's look at this side on here 
If you're trying to get this into a window uh, without ripping the rubber and to get access with your tools, you tell me which one would provide better access. Obviously the longer one because you can slowly by slowly go up through the variables of the thickness of the wedge. This one here it's like all on all off and this one here gives you a more more selection. It's also wider, more to grip onto, you know. What have we got here? Just jam that little fella right in there. Okay, so there's a professional one, that's not included in the kit. Okay, let's keep going. Comes in a nice little bag. Now, I don't know how to describe this tool here. To me, that's a plant holder. You put it over one, you put your pot plant on here. I don't know how to describe that because I don't even know what type of thing you could do with that. I'm a professional, <laughs> I've got no idea. All right, here we go. Gas cap jiggler. Now I do give them credit, this might actually possibly work. In my life I've never used one. Um, it's made of stainless, slightly bent out of shape, but you might actually be able to, you know, jiggle and pick open the petrol cap on that. I don't know, verdict's still out, that might still actually work. And if you haven't um, wedged and bent your weather seals back enough, they supply you with two. So perhaps you just need to jam more more wedges into the door to get more access. If the tools aren't working, just keep bending and wedging. Here come, here's your bag. Not bad. Looks okay. Probably last a couple of weeks. Now the thing is about this um, toolkit is they even include instructions. Universal lockout tool set. Instruction. Instruction on handbook. Okay, good, good Chinglish. Let's go through this here. Now when I read this, I know there is some fat Asian dude drinking sake sitting on the floor with his legs crossed laughing his fucking ass off at everybody who buys one of these and tries to use it. And the reason I say that is because when I go through here, I start off with uh, first page here. Okay, let's look at the maker models. Okay, so we have a carnival. Um, Horizon, Lancer, obviously set out for the American market. Okay, Ford, Bronco, uh, LTD. Well, okay, there's a lot of them in here. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Like if you were trying to sell this, this is what you would do. Even Datsun. I thought Datsun went out of business years ago and turned into Nissan. Okay, it's there. Lamborghini. Okay, now for anybody who doesn't know our videos, let, let me just um, put this little comment out there. We don't show you how to break into cars, we don't show you how to pick locks, okay, it's just not something we do as professional locksmiths, but I'm going to show you what this book tells us about how to break into a Lamborghini, and if you can use that piece of information to break into a Lamborghini, you're an absolute legend. Come and get a job, okay, because check this out, number 11, number 11, let's flick to page 11, this is what you get, more specs. Okay, let's assume they're referring to picture 11. Okay, so they do give you some photos there and some pictures, none of which are good. This is pretty much what you get, okay? See this black thing right here? That's one of these tools. See this square box that it's in? That represents the car door. And this line coming across here, if you're a pilot, that's most likely the horizon. But for us, that seems to be the window sill. So it's telling us to jam it down, jam it up, and jam it sideways. You'll have better better luck fishing in this in this method. This is fishing, and look even here. Look, that looks like a little fish. That's a fish. Let's go fishing with Chinese tools. Okay, let's assume that number eleven means diagram eleven. Okay, let's let's do things from the from the basic number five, number six, number twenty-seven, number eight. No number, no number, no number. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's how you open a Lamborghini. Just jam it down there. Yeah, D six zero five minus one face hook to rear of car. Yeah, just just do this. Yeah. Here, here, like like this. Ready? Here's your uh, here is your Slim Jim, right? So you just put this down there like that and go like this. That's how you open a Lamborghini. 
there is some fat dude laughing his ass off who sells this shit and he is over there drinking sake rolling around on the floor with his legs crossed right laughing at every person who buys one of these because if you buy this you have not got a chance in hell of opening nothing honestly not a chance and i show you this because well it might save you a dollar and it you know you're going to pay what 60 80 bucks to do this just call a locksmith they're not going to damage your door you're not going to rip the rubbers and when it rains you're not going to get a wet car and things like this also you're going to get your car professionally opened you call a locksmith sure you wait the half an hour an hour somebody comes out they open the car you pay them you're on your way you do this sort of thing and well you it, let's take for example your stereo you rip the speakers okay your doors indoors never going to have a speaker airbag most likely you're not going to set it off but most likely it won't go off if you rip the wiring okay what about the central locking how annoying would it be if you went up to your car after you've been locked out and the central locking never works again and somebody's laughing absolutely laughing trying to sell you this trying to give you the impression that you can just buy this little kit and open a Lamborghini oh yeah here we go yeah here we go open a Lamborghini my ass it's a $500,000 car. If it was to be that open that easily, Lamborghini would be in some serious trouble. And that's just one example. I mean, we've got everything from Mustang here. You know, this, this is a joke. I mean, a professional could take these tools and open a car, most likely, yes. But an amateur? No. Instructions and an amateur? No. <laughs> Never. Okay, let's look at a quick little book. Domestic Automotive Field Volume Model 2 uh, 2600, okay? I bought this uh, 10 years back, made by High Tech Tools. Yes, they do make some good tools, okay? Um, but basically, they sell books about opening cars. Now, I'm not going to give you too big a look into it, okay? But this is the type of information you would need to use a particular tool to open a particular car. Each one is different. Each one is bent and measured to do exactly the right thing. Take, for example, here. Oh, no, let's just look at a simple one, okay? This one here. This tool needs to be wedged, goes down the side of the window to activate the locking bar, and each setup of bars is different for each and every car, okay? This is to actually grab the button, and this is to go down and um, um, get underneath the mechanism and to get underneath the button. Each one is different. So with this information as a professional locksmith, yes, you can open the car quite easily. You can be done. But this tool is different to this tool. And this tool is different to this tool. And I don't see these tools in here at all. What I see, if I can show you the tool section, is just some very generically bent tools to give you the impression that this this kit is going to create some sort of magic and it's not most likely you're going to get in trouble this is the under un, uh, sorry down the window up over the window and over the upholstery uh, to hit the button tool right this is this big thing here if you were to tie a fishing line to this you could go fishing that's huge it's also very thick you try getting that down there without ripping your rubber on both sides getting it back up again and remember, it's got to go down, it's got to go down, up, around the window, and then you've got to be able to control it to get to the button. Crazy. So anyway, that is my review on Universal Lockout Toolset. If you use one, you're a genius, and if you buy this in the hope to um, actually unlock cars professionally, or even unlock your own car, good luck good luck hats off to you if you if you can actually do it uh, as a professional yeah well if you can do it you can do it and if you use this if you're a professional and you find this tool is one of the best tools you ever got sure i mean that's a slim gym you know how to use a slim gym that that's fine but um for anybody else who's thinking about this type of stuff just call a locksmith it's going to be easier in the long run thanks for watching